Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome back to episode 2 of Post Night Playthrough. Now, today, um, since the last episode, I've actually grinded two levels. It wasn't that much, but um, we did finish the Direwolf Cubs uh, bounty. That's the only thing I could accomplish with my low level, but since we reached level 10, we actually unlocked this cards here in the middle. Let's check it out. So basically, these are the different abilities on your um, sword and on your shield that you will get along the way. Now we currently have this one unlocked, the salt boost. So our damage is increased, and if the enemy is stunned, the damage is double. This will be a good ability with the stun shield that we will unlock at level 15. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, let's see our bounties for today. We have 10 bandit molars, which are pretty hard to beat for us. 10 bandit mages and 30 dire wolves. May be able to accomplish a few of them. Uh, I will be trying another delivery at the end of the episode again to see if I'm already strong enough for it. But for now, I will not. And I will just continue our journey through Timber Path. Today is the day of Timber Path. So let's begin with stage 1 of Timber Path. Especially now that we have our flaming sword here, we should be pretty good. Alright. Already doing a ton of damage. Ooh, we got a that's a purple item, and we finally find the bandit chief. All right. So as you can see, he's, he basically just runs away from you and tries to throw three bullets at you. I recommend you save your shield and your sword. Or when he throws his bullets, that way you can easily catch up to him and do a ton of damage. So this is the first time we're meeting him, we're just gonna be able to take half his HP, and he's just gonna run away. Here we go. Now if you don't know what exactly is happening in the story right now, we're trying to find Chief Merrick's granddaughter. Magnolia, I think, is her name. She is the one of the remaining villagers, so we still don't know where she is. There we go, as you can see, progress on our bounties. And we have a few upgrades, so let's go to blacksmith first. Upgrade our shield to four stars, it's pretty good. There we go. Go here to the alchemist and improve our potion. Alright, let's go to Timber Pass Stage 2. I actually find a lot of these mages, which is pretty good for the bounties. They do they do give you nice rewards. There we go. So this is the traveling merchant, which basically if you watch ads, uh, he will give you, uh, or basically you pay and you get a few bonus gems and coins. Um, and also if you find him in the middle of a route, if you pay a few gems or odd uh, ad, he will recover a bit of your HP. Improvement on our banners, we can see here he will be waiting on the route. So if you go to routes, oh, he's not here yet. All right, then never mind. Uh, let's continue with Timber Path since there's no upgrades available. Timber Path Stage 3. God, we're doing so much damage. And since our shield is 4 stars so early into the game, we're actually doing pretty well. There we go. So 
So we're finding clues about the blue-haired girl. We're finally gonna get another level up. And let's keep increasing our stats here. Our bounties are coming close to an end on that on the mages. We still have nothing else to do, so let's go back to Timber Pass stage 4. Oh, another letter to another pom pom villager. So, Magnolia, it is. I wasn't sure about that. So, Magnolia is still nowhere to be seen, which is unfortunate, but we'll get there eventually. One more banded mage to finish the bounty, which will, which will be cool if you get a bounty in while, while I'm recording. And finally, Timber Path number 5, the last one. There we go, the mage bounty is complete, and we can pick up the rewards on that. Oh, the bandit chief again. So shield that. Oh my god. And that was really slow. Alright. As you can see without the shield we get knocked back so much. You defeated the bandit chief. There we go. And we have found the blue haired girl. Who is Magnolia? And we finish the novice's set here. Finally getting the helmet. So let's equip that. And from now on we will get 10% more gold. Which will be huge. Nice little improvement. As you can see we can claim here. Get a bit of rewards in the jam, always nice. And with that we have finished Timber Path, but now well, let's talk a little bit about bounties, uh, not bounties, uh, bonds that I did talk a little bit on last episode. So this is basically the tutorial on bonds. As you can see, Magnolia has uh, 5 hearts on the top screen with only one filled, and you deliver her, her letter. So we go back to the post night headquarters since we finished delivering all the letters and with that we should be able to be an official post night. We're going to the Great Hall to meet Commander Whitebeard. There we go. We are now officially a post knight. So with that, Pompon -pom will be our second home apparently because we will be de delivering mail to them a lot. This is also a tutorial on the post night tokens that I did talk about last episode. But here we go. 10% of achieving the next rank is accomplished. Alright. 
now let's go here to the blacksmith and see what we can upgrade our helmet to two stars as you can see now the gold gain plus 10% is now uh, equal with the remaining equipment that is active now now with timber path finish you know that we can now go to routes and do a timber path uh, special route so let's go do that hopefully we're strong enough to beat it we will gain a ton of XP and gold especially now they have the 10% bonus for now it's going pretty well we are defeating the enemies quite easily We're actually only finding these uh, dire wolves and the mages. Oh, we found an archer. There we go. Alright, we found Magnolia in the middle, which is good, since we don't need to pay gems or watch an ad. Recover a bit of an HP. There we go. Full HP. The rest of the level should be a breeze. That's a lot of XP, and we got a level up. We got some nice items as well. As you can see, we received 900 coins, which is very good. With that, the oh, we got a 30 Dire Wolves bounty here. There we go. And with that, the two of the bounties are completed. We have to defeat 10 Bandit Maulers. Which are pretty hard for us right now. And I will try a delivery in just a bit. But with that completed, we have the timber. Oh, I clicked on it accidentally. Let me just return. And let's go back to routes. So with that, the timber path is completed. And the hard one is unlocked, which I will not be doing yet because I don't think I am strong enough. And let's go upgrade our equipment here one last time. Or sword to four stars. There we go. And our potion. There we go. Alright, and now let's go talk to Magnolia here, because, oh, we still can't. So there will be something else that we can do with Magnolia a little bit later into this playthrough. But for now, I just want to see if I can actually do a delivery now. If we're strong enough, and we will end the episode after that, since Tibra Path is completed. It seems we are strong enough now to defeat the sequest. Yes, we are. Good. So you deliver the card. And we completed the stage. Or the delivery quest. And now we get rewarded with a post night token. can go to here and turn it in and now we are 20% from reaching the next rank 
with that, let's go upgrade our potion one last time. And we are done for today. So uh, while we wait for tomorrow, I will be trying to finish these bounties if I do find 10 bandit demolishers that I can beat. And I will be doing the remaining delivery quests. And next episode, we will be trying to defeat the Palm Bond Bastion. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.